How to Write an Annotated Bibliography Because an annotated bibliography begins with an arranged list of citations, gather the citations first. Cite in order to give credit where credit is due, to avoid plagiarism. Verify facts. Add credibility to your research. Make it easier for readers to find the materials you used. And finally, to write a scholarly paper. Cite information that is borrowed from other sources, but information that is not common knowledge. Here's a sample citation. Include the author and year, the title of the article, the title of the journal, the volume and issue numbers, and page numbers. Bingham RA, Ranker TA 2000, Genetic Diversity in Alpine and Foothill Populations of Campanula Rotundifolia, Campanulaceae, International Journal of Plant Sciences, Volume 161, Issue 3, pages 403 to 411. Now that we have our sample citation, let's try our hand at a sample annotation. Include these elements. Discuss the affiliations and credibility of the author. Summarize the content. Compare this research with other research you found and discuss strengths and weaknesses. And finally, talk about why this article is important to your research. An annotated bibliography is not a mere synopsis. Let's use these elements now. Bingham, a biology professor at Western State College of Colorado, writes that because of highly effective pollination by bumblebees, some trees do not experience a decrease in genetic variability even when they grow at high elevations. This idea is supported by better research here than in other articles that I found. The research is important to me as I investigate the degree to which hummingbirds mitigate the negative effects of cold, high-altitude environments on the pollination of Apache paintbrush flowers. That's the basics. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.